Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is wearables hacking your bank pin. Today's story covers some new research that suggests that bad guys might be able to learn your pin code by leveraging technologies in your smartwatch or your fitness wearable. Now I'm going to cover this story under two contexts. First, as a pure security nerd, this is really relevant and interesting research. It really does show how some of the sensors and the technology we use today increase our attack surface. On the other hand, however, a lot of the news articles about this are kind of overhyped in my opinion. Really, there's very little chance that real-world hackers will be able to get your ATM by hacking your Fitbit. So let's start by covering the research. All of these stories are based on a research paper that was submitted to an Asian security conference and comes from researchers at a university called Binghamton. Really, their research covers how you can use the gyroscopes and accelerometers and magnetometers in these wearable devices to track the fine-tuned movement of someone's hand. And the researchers also created an algorithm that allowed them to guess a keypad or pin password based on these fine-tuned hand movements. Movements. With their algorithm, they found they had an 80% chance of guessing a password the first time it was entered, and that increased to about a 90% chance if the password was entered two or three times. So this is what spawned all the stories that attackers could get your ATM pin just by getting the sensor data from your wearable device. Now this is very interesting research, and it really does show some of the connotations of the Internet of Things. As we add more types of sensors to our computing devices, and we carry and use these devices in a lot of different ways, we're really increasing the attack surface out there. We're increasing all the different ways both good guys and bad guys can leverage this technology. So this is great research and I think it really is something that security professionals and the vendors behind these devices should consider as they're adding neat new solutions to the market. However, on the other hand, this is a totally unpractical attack that you don't have to worry about today. First of all, the one reason I don't think anyone's going to be able to guess your ATM is purely a physical one. If you've ever worn one of these fitness wearables or even a, a smartwatch, you realize that you wear it on your non-dominant hand. In fact, a lot of these fitness wearables want you on that non-dominant hand as it allows them to more accurately track your real activity versus just dominant hand movement. So really, when you're entering your pin, you're not using the hand that has the wearable device. So I really think that alone makes this attack kind of unpractical. However, more importantly, in order to do this attack, the bad guy somehow has to get the data on your wearable. Apparently, this paper, which I can't actually personally access because it's behind a pay gate, uh, it proposes two ways bad guys might do that. First, they could get malware onto your wearable device. Or second, they might be able to intercept a communication channel and get the data directly from the communication channel. However, there's a lot of practical issues with doing that. First, when we're talking about fitness wearables, while there have been vulnerabilities in the past that might allow you to get privilege es escalation on something like a Fitbit, these things have very little room. They have very little memory. You have no place to put malware and it can't be that big. So getting malware on something like a Fitbit is a very big issue. Now a smartwatch might be a different story. I do foresee a future where there might be malware on smartwatches. But again, it's a difficult feat to get malware on these proprietary systems, especially the ones that are small and low resource. So that alone is a big challenge that makes this somewhat unlikely today. Now the other uh, scenario they pointed out was maybe putting some sort of wireless device within proximity to a keypad so that that wireless device could intercept Bluetooth communication from the wearable. Now even that I don't think is really well thought through. The paper apparently doesn't point out which ones of the wearables or smartwatches they researched, but I really don't think these wearables directly uh, expose the sensor information. For instance, when my Fitbit is talking to my mobile device, it's sharing the amount of steps in my heartbeat. It's not sharing the actual micro movements of the accelerometer and the gyroscope, unless maybe there's a debug function it has to use to do that. So in either case, while this is very theoretically possible, I really do think it's impractical today. Despite all these headlines talking about wearables hacking your ATM pin, you shouldn't worry about this today. But that's not to say this type of attack is not theoretically correct. I do think we definitely need to worry about these type of attacks in the future. All these different sensors and devices we're putting out there have both good and bad implications. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.